watching Stick On Hair episode 201. This is Polly, day seven. Still no line, dirty line here. The lifting that occurs in summer is a lot worse, but there's still some lifting slightly here if I would have pulled back along the front hairline or anywhere for that matter around the edges because obviously the edges have the least amount of hold. And uh, this basically loosens with sweat. So what you wanna do is basically not touch that. And if you have a long fringe or bangs and then you keep pushing it back and forward, then what's gonna happen is the uh, leverage you have there from the front hairs is simply going to lift and move that front stick and make it lift up. If you have a brushed back look all the time, you're gonna decrease that problem. And hair wearers are not gonna be confident just running their hand back through their hair like that because it's a lot weaker than follicles, which would naturally grow out of your skull, basically. So, this is day seven. Take a closer look at that. Uh, these are a little horizontal here along this front e edge here, which is not ideal. You want nose to spine when you have a hairpiece uh, made out of poly. And today I'm gonna go to the post office and send back some lace pieces and try to get them exchanged back uh, for some poly ones. I have to change them anyway because they are the wrong color. This is medium dark brown, believe it or not. It doesn't look that dark, but if I use the medium light, sorry, the, uh, the, the medium brown, which is a color, I think that's number five, and this is number four, and I think number one is jet black, so I'm four shades away from, or three shades away from jet black. You would expect this to be darker at that point, but I guess, uh, I don't know what the next one is. It would be more like black brown or something. I don't know. What the, I don't know what the final three are called, but jet black has got the darkest, right? So uh, this has been bleached along the front. You got to be careful here where your edge hits your uh, perimeter at the front on the temples. That can often be placed a little bit too low. I've actually lifted this up and restuck it back down, but I missed once again. I should have been more careful, careful with that. Also, I have to basically brush it forward uh, just to kind of give myself a haircut that I like. I would say at the moment, given that this has a, a bit of a, a ramp happening back here, you want that to transition nicely with the rest of your hair. And my approach is gonna be from this point to go back to having longer hair, unfortunately that means these sides have to kind of flare out a little so that the back and top here uh, can transition more smoothly into the hairpiece. Because if I only have a hairpiece stuck to short hair, then we get this problem. And the other problem is, if you have a really short uh, haircut, and I'd say poly is probably a bit worse than uh, lace in terms of sticking up because the v-loops just really want to spring back up to being standing at attention there you want to keep it about an inch and a half long minimum now i have a guard here from my uh brio beard trimmer from brio it's a beardscape trimmer Actually, this one might be more useful. This is one and a quarter inches. This is a guard from Wall. Now my Wall uh, clippers are too loud, so I just use the beard trimmer now. But this fits on the Wall. As you can see here, one and a quarter gets you up to there, and then this exceeds that. So that should be plenty long enough. And back here, uh, it's, it's about one and a quarter inches there. So you'd think that 
if my theory is right, one and a quarter inches, that should be fine then, right? These bits on the side, that edge there, that's uh, that's probably more like getting down to one inch along the outsides there, those little bits on the corner. So that's really gonna wanna stick up. I really prefer to have longer hair so that it can just kind of obey me a lot better. But then I can't have that short back and sides look, which I really want. So if you guys know a way to get around this, I'm all, all for listening out for that because I really would li like to have the option of having shorter hair just kind of brushed neatly to the side like that. As it stands, literally, uh, I wake up with my hair sticking out like, like a pineapple basically. <laughs> and I'm kind of just waiting now for my hair to grow back. And I'll probably dye these sides with some hair dye. I really hope that the color matches. I got some uh, Just For Men delivered from eBay, but I'm not sure if it's gonna match or how much trouble it's gonna be, how often. They say it lasts for eight weeks until the hair grows out. But I think stubble on the side grows back in what, three days? I don't wanna to have to be dying this all every three days. And I think people who dye their hair away from grayness constantly are always having to worry about that as to an even greater extent perhaps than just putting on a hairpiece, which is once every three weeks maybe. This one's seven days old now. There's nothing really wrong with it except I give myself a bad haircut. And also, you know, I might, I've already cut five bigger pieces, which are gonna extend back to there instead of here. So it's a bit, bit bigger. So I don't know how that's gonna change things. My biggest concern with that, aside from the fact that the 50 or so hair pieces that I've got cut for this size, they're gonna be useless. But, but second of all, I don't know if the mirror front on will give me the visibility I need to shave it. And if I can adhere to that. And, and the, the fear I have with this, this rant thing that's happening, where they're perimeter meets the hairpiece, that's gonna be the same whether it's there or there. The only time it wouldn't have mattered so much is if it was maybe back here where I would probably want the hair to start growing longer. But at that point I'd want it to transition up. So that would have to be less than an inch long back there. And then I'd get this kind of problem going on back here. So what do I do? I don't know. I just wish that hair pieces could lie flatter uh, no matter what length they were, but they just won't. That's why I have to use hair product to keep it flat as I can, give it some weight. But, but because they don't, I'm thinking I have to go back to having longer hair, which I think suits people more anyway, to be honest. Short hair is a is kind of a a phase that we're going through in the early 2000s and 2010s. And I think, you know, eventually it's gonna get bigger. There's only two types of length, long and short, you know, relatively speaking. I mean, we are, males have beards. We're supposed to look like more like a lion with long flowing wise man hair, I suppose. I'm gonna have a shower and see if I can style this as best I can. And, and this area back here, I, I think it's growing back a little bit, so I'll get more coverage with this length that's growing back on my natural head. So I'm, I'm quite happy that it's grown back a little bit since I shaved it with the uh, 1.2 millimeter, 1.2 centimeter guard that goes on this thing, 12 millimeter guard. Hey, I'll have a shower and I'll uh, try to fix this up for you. So as you can see right here, the hair actually has weight enough to hold itself down when it's wet. So at the moment it's going down, but you can definitely see the transition here where my medium density hairpiece meets my balding head, especially in the sunlight. So I guess you can still see some scalp through there. Uh, 
Poly is not completely invisible. It's mostly invisible, so it's not yellow of the of the of the base material itself that you're seeing there. That is in fact uh, a clear plastic with medium dark brown hairs coming out of it. And back there, that's my natural hair color. And I was a redhead growing up, so that's a relief that a lot of that went away. I still got a red beard, but you know, I shave it off. <laughs> Now after towel drying my hair, it's still damp, obviously, uh, it does want to stand up straight away. So if I brush it now, first of all, there is a gap back here, which I'm not going to do anything about because when it dries, it'll just sort of, sort of seal, up, seal in. But it's not ideal. I mean, you want that to match as far back as you can without having an overlap. Because an overlap has two problems. First of all, the poly or lace base can be seen over hair very easily. Over skin, it's hard to see, but when you got that base sitting over hair in that perimeter, wherever it is in your head, it's visible to people. You might have some hair coverage that hides it a little bit, but it's a lot worse than a tiny gap. Uh, but you still don't want the gap, that's for, for sure. If you can avoid any gap or overhang, like, like I've said it before, but basically your hairs are like this and your hair piece is like this. So where it meets, it's not gonna be melding in nicely like hairs do, even lace won't. And because there's a line of glue at your perimeter, wherever that is in your head, it's going to be very difficult to match that up exactly. Little hairs and things will get caught in that glue. Worse than they probably would in there, because you have no chance of doing maintenance on that while you wear the hairpiece. It'll just get worse and worse progressively. His little hairs get stuck in that glue there. Not much you can do about it, except basically comb it out occasionally. But yeah, the sunlight brings a lot of attention to that so you really but the thing is I, I'm because that's not a good area for me at the moment and I'm paranoid about my bald spot on the back I'm, I'm very conscious every time I lean forward to pick something up or uh, there's a staircase above me and they're looking down at the top of my head that makes me a little paranoid so growing it all longer and making it a big thicket is gonna give me more confidence that nobody can see the problem, the join, basically. So I'm gonna grow up longer again. This bit here, that part of the hair piece, that's what happens if you pluck. Don't pluck the front hairline, either on lace or on poly. Because what happens is the base becomes exposed and the base does not look like it's real skin. Does it? No, it doesn't. Look. So I'm going to have to wait for that to dry and then squish it back down in there. See how it's peeled back a little? Probably not enough glue in there, but also made more evident because this whole area basically has had its hairs kind of plucked away. So this is not a great hair piece anymore. But in, uh, with, with some just basic brushing, with some coverage over the front, I'll get away with it for a few days. I'm a little bit reluctant to start just cutting my hair back, shaving my hair back immediately and putting on those new five pieces that I made in the previous video. Because I've still got like five hair pieces this size that are left. So I might just try to get through those so I don't waste them because they'll never be used again, I think. I don't think I'm going to go from cutting back to there and making those big ones uh, back to cutting shorter and, and making the small ones again. I think if anything, what's happening here is I'm going to go back and back and back and back until I get transplants. That's probably what's going to happen. It's like when you start wearing glasses and I need to, I got astigmatism in, in my right eye here. 
which means I'm seeing double when I look at a page, especially in darkness or a screen. I, I mean, it's hard for me to gauge that here with the finger, but if I just try to read this writing on the back of this can here, this eye is much better, but it's still blurry. That's the distance I kind of need to be to read any of it. Apply the desired amount in your hands. So I'm just gonna dry this off and get dressed and put some product in there and show you how it looks. Check, well, check out all these extra hair products I found in my box. Hairspray. 25% better value. <laughs> this one looks expensive, isn't it? Like toothpaste. Flexible styling paste. You know this one, some hair wax that I got from uh, Nepal. Power Touch. From Schwarzkopf, anti-crunch wax. Wax isn't really crunchy, is it? It's gel. It's crunchy. This is gel. It's called jelly, but it's gel. I don't like gel. Gel's only good if you really want a rock hard kind of hairstyle, but I think my hair looks better with a bit of volume to it. But not dried out, because it's, it's gonna be like dead hair, it's gonna stick out like that. It's gonna get worse and worse. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this one. God, my eyesight. Oh, that's right, I'm American, I forgot about that, sorry. <laughs> that, sounds Canadian. Canadian, you're in my top four. It goes America, so United States of America, United Kingdom, then I think that is India. It's nice to see you today, everybody. Thank you for coming along. And then I think fourth is Canada. Is it Canada, is that how you say it? Canada? Canada? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Gotta remember to put those little R's in there. There are a lot of R's. You would think after many, many years of your, your tongue would become stronger. And because the people from the United States often talk with a lot of enthusiasm in their face there, it's like 90 degrees in Ohio, right? And it's like, just so much energy. That's why Americans have clearly defined facial muscles. It's like you've been working out. And when you're not talking, you're chewing gum. So it becomes very strong. So it's possible, and I used to be able to do it, I probably still could to an extent, just look at somebody's face and say, that person's from this country. But I've got it wrong, of course, in the past. So yeah, the reason I was gonna to try to read directions is am I supposed to attach it to damp hair? Put a small amount through fingers and apply it to towel dried or Tap here for the definition. Restyle as often as you like. Modifier by ice hair. Okay. Coconutty. It smells exactly the same as products from. American crew. Which I don't like those products. They, they really kind of close off my pores. Some petroleum or something in them makes it less.
It's better if you have some sort of mirror or camera back here that you can see the back of your head because you don't want that white shit, like a blob of that stuff on the back of your ear or something, like in something about Mary or an earring of white frog. So I can't do anything with it. This just doesn't really help me style this stuff. You need a lot more power to control the hairs when you're wearing a hairpiece. There's not much I can really do to fix this. I've got wet hands, which and that allows me to sort of run my fingers through it a bit more without getting stuck in there. Yeah, I don't really recommend that product. My hands feel like they're just gonna remain dirty. It's not a, a freezing soap. Not hotter water. Yeah, they still, it feels like it's still really, it's like grease is all over my fingers. You know, have you ever got car grease or something like that all over your hands? It's just, you need Solvol or some really industrial soap to get it off. It feels a bit confining, you know, claustrophobic. So this is poly day seven.